Hello guys, gals, and loves of the internet. This is Marvel Pokemon 1993 with another episode of Neglected Cards, and today's focus is going to be Soul Release. Now this one's been around since the dawn of Yu-Gi-Oh, pretty much. And what it does is you choose five cards from either player's graveyard and banish them. Now you can use this card both offensively and defensively. Um so without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now, Soul Release is an interesting spell because you, if you use it defensively, let's say you have you have your own Dark Arm in your hand, um, but you have too many Darks. You can banish two Darks from your own graveyard and three more cards from theirs. And that gives you enough um, to bring out Dark Armed. And then you can just go... Or I'll go burial from a different dimension or something. And return some of the cards you banished for Dark Armed back to the grave. Um, it can use to be to slow down uh, the summoning of Judgment Dragon. I wouldn't say stop it completely, but it can be used to slow it down. Um, the reason is because in order to summon it, you need four or more different named Light Swans. You can't just have Triple Lila and a Raikou. Because, I mean, like, what the hell, it'd be way too broken in. Like, more broken than it already is. But this allows you to choose four of, uh, sorry, five of the most brutal light swans they have in their graveyard and banish it. So, Lumina, Wolf, Lila, Raikou, Celestia, all of that, gone. Um, onto, onto the five. Now, they're, they're a sort of new archetype. Now, this... Um, you can use them to banish pretty much the entire deck. Their main goal is going to be Bear and Ten Key. Um, now for those of you who don't know what Ten Key does, let me just look it up. Okay, so, and here it is. Okay, so what Ten Key does is. Oh, sorry, let me just switch to it. Tenki um, allows you to add a level 4 or lower Beast Warrior monster from your deck to your hand, and while it's on the field, all face up uh, Beast Warriors gain 100 attack. So, that means uh, when you summon out the bear, it's going to be 1700 most of the time. Once you get bear and all them to the graveyard, soul release. Sorry, bear. Sorry, Tenki. Sorry, all the other cards are going to fuck me over later in the duel. Um, it can it can slow down Chaos Sorcerer and its other Chaos cards because if they only have like three lights in grave and three darks, you can go Soul Release, banish um, three lights and two darks, or vice versa. So it makes it incredibly hard to summon out uh, the big boss, the uh, big boss guys uh, stretching for the, uh, the game. Next, we can move on to the Mermails, and oh god, do I hate these guys. They spell out the word broken. Um, now, when their effects activate in the grave, they can easily come back. But if you activate Soul Release, they lose all their good shit. Abyss Lead. Um... Uh... Um, oh, sorry. I'm not an expert on the archetype. Here we go. Um, Abyss Megalo, Abyss Lined, all them. They're all them gone. Um, so your Soul Release can actually hurt them a lot. But, in any case, yeah, that, that's, all they're pretty, uh, that's all it's pretty much going to do. Now you can do it on some of the six samurais because they have a fair amount of cards that allow you to revive them, even when they're in the graveyard. So let's say you have a call of the haunted face down. You can go soul release. Um, they'll have to either waste the call of the haunted or let your card get banished. My my idea is it's going to focus more on the card getting uh, revived. So you can just like, okay, that's fine. You want to bring back uh, Shein, bottomless trap hole. You can negate. That's fine. Come on, attack me. Attack me, bro. 
Um, next one's Dark World, and this fucks them up. Because they're. What is it? I probably should have prepared better. Here. Um, Gates of the Dark World, they have to have a fiend in the graveyard in order to use it. If they do not have a fiend, they cannot use it. Well, they can't use its drawing effect. So. Yeah, it's a, it can actually hurt them a lot. I mean, they lose five cards, what the hell? Um, it can slow down Chaos Dragon, sort of. Just be careful you choose the right cards, because I run them, and if you choose if you choose to be a complete moron and banish Wyvern, then you've got, you're helping them way too much. Although, although then again, it can, it can double sword them, and then they don't have a light in the graveyard that they can summon. It can slow down the summoning of the light rays, because just like Judgment Dragon or Dark Armed or any or a lot of the other cards I've mentioned in this episode, they have to have five uh, um, different named lights in the graveyard to summon out Diablos. They're pretty much the same summoning deal. Um, so with that said, I'm going to end the episode off here. And I would like to say, carry on my wayward sons, carry on. Oh, sorry, before I go, actually, comment down below if you think of a card that, is, that can see play in the current meta, but doesn't. And if you have any ideas, like if you want to do a deck profile, if you want me to do a deck profile, send me a picture of your, uh, of your deck. And I'll do a complete deck profile on it. Okay, so uh, thank you and carry on, my wayward sons. Carry on.